I think we're at a consequential time in our national security. And I think the theme was forums like this symposium are absolutely critical for civil discourse to kind of form. You had a rich body of, of academics and I think history is sometimes the best lesson. And I think the, the combination of practitioners, historians, and industry is exactly the all hands on deck mentality we need to maintain competitive advantage in a very complicated and unpredictable national security environment. I was also very happy that Colonel Brown and the symposium was gonna produce two white papers with regard to policy recommendations for the current situation in the Red Sea and the Houthis and also the Persian Gulf. And I applaud the War College for not only convening people to have good intellectual discourse, but to produce something that can be used by our, both our military leaders and our policymakers. It's a very fruitful outcome. To maintain competitive advantage, you always have to evolve or adapt. And I think when you have a divergent you have divergent points of view. One, back to people, sometimes history repeats itself. I mean, the technology changes, but it is war and competition is a human endeavor. So I think that's a valuable piece. Then you mix that with practitioners. And then as important, I think now is, is industry. It's how do we, you could argue that we're in a revolution in military affairs right now with, with artificial intelligence and autonomy. So it's very important that we energize the creative juices of the industry and understand what the customers or practitioners or executors need. And then how do you marry up product with requirement for competitive advantage? So I think it's that mix of people that is absolutely critical. People that know history, people that are executing the job, and then people that have the technology wherewithal to advance our competitive advantage. I think that'll be the secret sauce. And we need to keep all of those people in constant dialogue.